Hi, I'm Josiah. And I'm Callum. And this is Worth Watching. Thank you for your cooperation. I give up. All right, welcome back to another week of Worth Watching. Today we'll be reviewing RoboCop starring Joel Kinnaman. All right, so this movie is, of course, a remake of the 1987 Paul Verhoeven original. And the plot is very similar, although it is sort of different at points, but we'll get to those later. Essentially, you're dealing with a cop who is killed and is put into this cybernetic suit where it's essentially just his brain and some other minor body parts that are still him and the rest is a cyborg suit that he's in. So he becomes essentially a robotic superhero. However, behind the scenes, the company that manufactured him has some shady stuff going on there, and so that, of course, factors into the movie as well. All right, I have not seen the original RoboCop. However, he has, so you'll probably be getting a couple different, you know, viewpoints from the movie and just kind of like different perspectives. All right, so the question that is, of course, going to be in a lot of people's minds is, of course, how does this stack up against the original? Um, and in that, I might not be the best person to ask because I don't have any sort of childhood attachment to the original. I watched it so that I would have a base mark for what this movie was. Um, I was not a huge fan of the original, there were things I liked about it, things I didn't like, but this one I thought was a very different take on the same story, and that is definitely worth watching in its own right. Um, you're really dealing with a very different time that this movie was made in, and like the original was sort of criticizing the consumerism and big business and things like that, this one sort of takes a different angle with a more relevant topic to the modern day, which is things like government surveillance, uh, you know, privacy, freedom of yeah. information, things like that. And in that, I think that the movie stayed true to the uh, message that the original was trying to convey, where it had sort of a veiled... Um, message underneath yeah. the action movie that was going on. They, they did actually a really good job with that. There, there wasn't, uh, they weren't swinging one specific way towards the other one. Right. They actually kept it kind of very middle of the road based and kind of showed you that this surveillance stuff that the government wants to do can be overboard and at not work. As right. well as everybody may think it. Right, and they, they well. showed something that was really interesting, which I thought was that you have, even the bad guys in this movie, in the end, have good intentions. They're trying yeah. to promote peace, they're trying to get world peace, things like that going. But that even people with the right intentions using the wrong methods to get there can end up doing terrible things. Exactly. And that was something that was really flowing throughout this whole movie. And also that then those same people can also do great things mm -hmm. in the fact that they like they create Robocop, who is the protagonist of the movie, but they end up being the villains. And so it's a really interesting uh Yeah. Really and then you have the, the doctor that actually um, creates Robocop. Played by Gary Oldman. He, yes, played by Gary Oldman. Yeah. And he, I felt, as um, his character had a little bit more of the moral standpoint, like, mm -hmm. he really didn't want to be doing this. Like, And Michael Keaton, you know, convinced him that what they were doing was good, you know, but during the whole time, Michael Keaton had other intentions and ideas. Right. And then when Gary Oldman finally figured out where they were going with this, he was, this is morally wrong. Right. And did something about it. Right, and I think, I think you know, Gary Oldman brought such a great depth to that character that could yeah. have seemed kind of over the top in other ways, where he just, Gary Oldman has such a great subtle form of acting that was just a joy to watch this movie yeah. and he had a lot bigger role than I thought he was going to have so I was really happy to see all the screen time he, he had. He did and actually I thought the acting played by Gary Oldman was actually mm -hmm. really good yeah. and um, Michael Keaton as well. I also really enjoyed the performance from Jackie Earl Haley who plays sort of Michael Keaton's right hand man. Um, oh, yeah. He was just great in this movie. Really just really interesting to watch and I always like watching him I thought he was good here too. Yeah. I don't have a lot of good things to say about this movie. I actually didn't enjoy it. Um, I felt like just the plot, the structure of the plot, and just how it was executed was just real. It, it, it felt like the just the level and the tone of this movie was flat throughout. There, there was no down and coming back up. It, it was just straight flat, and it never got any better. It never slowed down. It just... I don't know. I, I kind of, I will say the pacing felt a little weird, and there were parts when it felt like it should have been speeding up that it slowed down, and parts that normally would have felt like they should be slowing down that it speeded up, and so it kind of, I see where you're saying, but I was just having so much fun with this, the, what was going on through the movie yeah. that I, I, I enjoyed it all the way through anyways, and I, I mean, I like the character of RoboCop a lot. Like mm -hmm. I said, I had issues with the first movie, and I have issues with this one too, um, but I really like what they did with it, and I thought sure. it was really fun to see, and the action sequences in this movie are absolutely oh, superb. Yeah. 
They were. And in addition to having really great action scenes, I thought that this movie had really cool character development in between the action scenes, where rather than just going slowly for a while, you actually got to learn more about the characters. And there are some scenes with some real emotional depth to them that I really appreciated. There's one when Robocop has just been put into his suit and he just wakes up for the first time and he wants to know, you know, how much of him is actually left yeah. and he sees that there's like nothing left. I and think he's just, it's he like has what? A, it's, it's his, his head, head and lungs essentially. Lungs and his hand. Yeah, That's just his it. hand, not even his arm. Yeah. Um, and he's, he just has like an emotional breakdown. You're like, wow, that it really is a, a terrifying thought to wake up yeah. and have your whole body be gone. Yeah. And that's just... I, I did thought, not see that coming, honestly, right, was yeah. how, much, how emotionally charged this movie actually yeah. ended up being. And I thought I that was something those. that the movie pulled off really well. Yeah. All right, so with all of that in mind, what would you give the movie on a scale of A through F? I'm going to give it a C. I just, I didn't like it at all. I mean, really? yes, there was some, a, a funny scene in there. The action was cool. I just, I, I didn't like it. I'm not going to go watch it again. C. I, I would watch it again, actually. I would give it a, a, probably a mid-B, low-mid. It just depends on how I'm feeling. I actually really enjoyed it. I thought mm -hmm. it had a great action. Now, again, if you're thinking of this compared to the original RoboCop, here's what I would say. If you are a die-hard childhood fan of the original and can never let go of it and hate the very concept of there ever being another version of the movie, don't see it. You're going to hate it because nothing would make you happier than just to watch the original. Mm -hmm. But if you're someone who really enjoyed the original but also wants to see another take on it and wants to see more RoboCop that you haven't seen before, I think you'd also enjoy this because it's a different take on it. And if you didn't enjoy the original but liked the concept, I think you'd also enjoy this movie. And if you just have no interest in RoboCop whatsoever, don't see the movie because you're not going to like it. Thanks for watching another episode of Worth Watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment on your thoughts of the movie and subscribe. See you later. Bye.